Welcome to Excel Magic Tricks number 727. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, just click on the link directly below this video and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Tricks 727 to 732. Hey, in this trick here, we're doing payroll. We have time in, time out. Oh, and a big lunch break. And then time in, time out. Now, actually, for our first example, I'm going to change this to uh, 10 p.m. So we have just a straight, this person worked during the day. There's no night shift. Now first, what is time? We have eight hours, the eight hours through the day and 13 hours through the day, 12 plus one. So this is time format. If you control one and apply the general, you can see right here it's got a time format. But if you apply, apply general, what in the world? That's what sits in the cell under the time number format. I'm going to control Z, which is undo. Really, it's better just to think about it this way. 8 divided by 24 is what? 0.33 equals 13 divided by 24 is what? 5, 4. Now that we have numbers, we can take the bigger number minus the earlier number, and that gives us how much time the person worked. Now that's a decimal proportion of a 24-hour day. So if you want hours to do something like calculate wage, you have to multiply that by what? 24. That's the proportion of 24, hour, um, 24 hours multiplied by 24, and it gives us how many hours we worked. All right, so let's use that idea up here for our formula. Now we have lunch, so we have two groups, one, two. So for the first group, we say, hey, give me the later time minus the earlier time. And then we add the second group, later time minus the earlier time. Again, that is um, number formatting, so I'm going to apply general. Control 1, and then apply general. Ah. But what happens if this person didn't work from PM to PM, but worked from night to slightly into the next day? So we'll just say 2 AM. Oh, no. Here we have a negative. That's not going to work. That would be <laughs> terrible, right? You do your payroll. Hey, this is how much you work. That times your wage. And of course, you'd, get, you'd owe them money. So we have to figure out what to do here. Well, the simp the the way to deal with this is to use the mod function. Let's just see that it gives us the right answer first, and then we'll figure out why it's working. Mod. Now, what does the mod do? Two arguments, number and divisor. I wish they'd called it numerator, denominator, because it simply takes the top of a fraction divided by a bottom part of the fraction, and mod gives you the remainder. Now, the trick here is knowing that the divisor if I put a 1 here, the mod function's result, its answer, is deter the sign of that answer is determined by the sign of the divisor. So notice it's positive. So that means our answer will be positive. I'm going to apply that general format. So that is, that's the correct proportion of a 24-hour day. And this formula right here works no matter if you have uh, night shift or day shift. Now, what in the world is going on there? Well, the mod, we, we already saw that the mod, this will determine the sign. Straight from help, here's the algorithm. Now, here's how it works. You take the n. Now, remember, and in fact, I want to explicitly show the n right here. Copy, escape, equals this. So we have that negative number there. So look at the algorithm. It says, take that minus, well, d is 1, because we divided by 1, times, oh, the int of n uh, divided by 2. Well, let's just see what the int is. Equals the int. Int always takes the integer. So if it's 2.5, it'll give you 2. But int always goes down. So if you give it a negative number, it's required to go down. So the next whole number below it is negative 1. So look at this. Now let's look at this. This right here minus 1 times this. Well, what's 1 times negative 1? Negative 1. Well, what's a negative m minus a negative 1? It's a positive 1. So th this mod takes this and adds 1. Boom. There's our answer. So that's how we get 
Uh, that's why the magic mod function is so perfect for payroll. Now we can just come over here and do 24 times. Control the keyboard shortcut to get rid of, uh, to go to general format is, I should have showed you that right off the bat, Control Shift tilde. And when you're doing time math and date math, control shift tilde, man, is that awesome. So this person worked 11 hours. All right, uh, there's the formula for night or day, including a lunch. All right, we'll see you next trick.